Hello, hello. I don't want to get in trouble. I do not own the rights to this song that's playing. Hey, Ginger. Hello, hello. Say hello when you sign on. <laughs> if you can hear the music, I don't know if you can, because I don't have it really loud, but I do not own the rights to this music. Just saying. Hey, Leia. I don't want to get in trouble with Facebook. So, just thought I'd play a little music today while we're waiting for everybody to get on. I have a little housekeeping that I want to do with you guys tonight. But we are going to make a really quick and easy and fun uh, monkey bread. <laughs> hey, Mesa. What's up? Hello, hello. Thanks for saying hi. I am going to send out some some wonderful uh, Tupper Time with Tracy mail if you share out my video. So while we're on, share it out to your timeline and announce our time of being here and I will send out some happy mail. <laughs> Somebody told me that earlier and I like that term. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it happy mail. I'm gonna send you some happy mail. Oh, I don't own the rights to this one either, but I like the song. Can y'all hear the music? I know, kind of silly. All right, we are going to get started. Let me get this off. That was Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi owns the rights to that song, not me. Oh, came back on. Off, dude. Okay. Hello, hello. How is everyone tonight? So glad to have you. Um, we are going to, hello, hello, mama. Um, tonight we are going to make some cinnamon, vanilla cinnamon monkey bread in my stack cooker. And it is a really easy, um, very, very simple, uh, sweet, and savory well sweet mainly but really easy and the in uh, the microwave only takes about five minutes and uh, then we're going to talk about some product while it's cooking and tell you about some things that are happening in uh, next week um a little bit of a change when it comes to this format of what we're doing hello barbara um and so i'll go over some of the uh housekeeping in a little bit but uh, let's get started because my biscuits have popped and <laughs> yeah they've popped so I kind of took the wrapper off hoping to make it a little easier and I didn't want to make a complete moron of myself uh, popping them my husband laughs at me every time I have to open up um, one of those things hey Stella I have a dog that is just running all by herself Stella 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 Bella sit down Dad is upstairs taking a shower. You need to sit down and chill out. All right. Um, so I have popped them already. So I want to get moving on the recipe itself. And then we'll do some housekeeping while it's cooking. And I'm going to show you a couple things maybe that are on sale. Um, so like I said, if you're on with me and you are watching, I will uh, send out some Tupper wear with Tracy. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I'm going to send out some mail to you um, just for sharing out. So share out my video and let's get this party started. All right. Um, okay. First off in this beautiful, the ones we sell are not this color, but this is our, uh, tumbler and it comes with a, one of our straws. We are eco healthy. So don't use those one time products. Uh, the straws that you get, uh, out and about, those get thrown in the landfill which then gets put in the ocean which then goes up turtles noses and makes them mad and we don't want to do that so we want to be eco healthy we want to use 
uh, reusable. This is made with uh, recycled plastic that comes in a pack of four, which is awesome. I carry mine with me, so whenever I'm out and about, I don't have to use somebody else's straw. Uh, it fits perfectly down in our tumbler. Matter of fact, our tumbler comes with one. Um, so when you buy the tumbler, which is spill proof, um, you actually get one with it. It does come with an extender, so you can have a shorter straw or a longer straw. And it does come also with a, what I would call a pipe cleaner. It's really not, it's a, a, a wire, with, wire with a kind of pipe cleaner looking thing on it, but it helps to clean it. And that lets you get down inside of it and get it real good and clean. So anyway, I always like to show that off. Also, if you see the top, it has a safety um, piece on top, so you're not jamming it into your gums or into your lips or anything like that. It's very, very safe, um, and I absolutely love them. I use them everywhere I go. So I always like to show that off just because I like to drink out of that. Um, okay, and so what we're going to do, very first thing, let's get moving on this. Um, I will get to the housekeeping stuff, but we'll do that once I get everything in uh, so we're going to get moving on the actual thing that I'm making tonight, okay? So it's vanilla cinnamon monkey bread is what it's called. And the very first thing that we want to do is we want to have our biscuits. And like I said, my biscuits already popped. I was walking the dog and I heard them go pop. So pop them straight out. These are the really big ones. Um, you can use just regular biscuits. It calls for... Um, it calls for two 12 ounce packages. And I will be honest with you, I don't know, I think these were 16 ounce packages. And these were the bigger ones. These are really, really big. But we're gonna cut them down anyway. You're gonna cut down into quarters. Well, maybe this one is supposed to come apart. And it just doesn't want to. There it goes. Okay, so we're gonna cut them down into quarters. And I actually have a that's a bottle we're gonna get let me do the butter first let's get the butter melted because we're gonna put them in a that's a bowl and um, I'm using my micro pitchers this is the new color which is like a peacock color so beautiful I absolutely love the color um, our stack cooker comes in that too now um, but I don't have the new stack cooker I have the other one that is in the blue so you will see my stack cooker tonight, but it won't be in our brand new color. The stack cooker is on sale this month. Just went on sale on Thursday. So if you were wanting one, now is the time. We're going to melt the butter. I put the small one. We flip it. Let me show you. I flip it right on top. So then it's covered just like that in the microwave, and then it's covered in my microwave and it doesn't go splattering everywhere. You know, whenever you put stuff in the microwave, it tend, when it cooks, it tends to splatter. And this is butter, so we're trying to melt the butter and it's gonna splatter everywhere. So we flip the baby, the baby one, the one cup one, flip it up on top and it sits just like that. So give me just a second. All right, we're gonna melt that butter. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna cut up using my universal chef knife. Love this knife. I have had this knife since I got my kit and I have never once sharpened. Comes with its own sheath. So you're nice and safe. Really should be doing this on here. Um, you're going to cut the biscuits in quarters. And I may not use all of them because the package that I got were bigger than what it requested. So we'll just see how much is in here. I don't want to overdo it. Cut them in quarters and I'm throwing them just into a that's a bowl. This knife, um, we have multiple versions of the chef, of the Universal knives. Um, this is the Universal Chef series, just the Universal. I don't think it's called anything other than that. Has a purple handle. Um, it was the, like I said, it was the very first knife that I got. We also have a sharpener. 
that I can sharpen it with. Um, all of our knives, of course, come with a lifetime warranty. Um, so if you ever have an issue with them, you can get them replaced. Um, that's one of the amazing things about Tupperware is that we are an investment. And anything that you purchase, a lot of what, what I have in here, I call an appliance because um, you can definitely um, see the multi-uses in, in here as to all the different things that it does. And to me, that's not just kitchenware, that's an appliance. It's very, very universal. It's very multi-use. multi, multi -use. Um, But with the knives, we have a set of paring knives. We also have a uh, another set of two knives. One's a serrated knife and the other, I cannot remember what the other one is, but it's a set of two as well. And then we have the universal knife. So various versions for things that you love to use them for. Let's cut these up as well. Did I hear that ding back there? I did. How's everybody doing tonight? Who all do I have on tonight? Let's see. I'm seeing a couple of you guys. Say hello so that I know you can hear me. This is Tupper Time with Tracy. We do it every Sunday. Um, I always bring you into my kitchen and show off some of my most favorite pieces of my product. Anytime that you have a question, please feel free. Thank you, Nasa. Appreciate that. You get some, what do I want to call my mail? Will you get some Tupper Tracy? I don't know. We're going to come up with a name. I don't want to use Happy Mail. That was a friend of mine's signature name. So we're going to call it something else. Anybody have any ideas? Throw it out there. Thank you, Ginger. Appreciate those shares. That's awesome. You know, I guess I'm going to use all of this. Hopefully it'll all fit. I'm coming microwave. My microwave is very bossy. This is a tremendous yummy. If you just want something quick and easy, um, the kids love it. It's like a pull apart bread um, and it's cinnamon sugar. So they're going to eat it like crazy. Um, so, and it, you do it in the stack cooker. It's so easy. All right. That's all of the dough. Okay. So we're going to do that. Let me get the butter. Let's see if we're melted. Ah, ha, ha, we are melted. Okay. And with the butter, I'm going to also throw in a teaspoon with our Tupperware measuring spoons. Oh, oh, very cool. Pumpkin carving with the kids. You know, I was just talking to my husband the other day. We haven't carved a pumpkin since my kids got out of the house. And I miss that because I used to pump, I used to pumpkin carve with the kids every year and we don't do that anymore. It's very sad. All right. One teaspoon of vanilla now here's the really cool thing about number one we were rated the most accurate measurement of 2015 of our measuring cups and spoons they are laser etched with the all of the different versions tracy's telegrams i like that that's good they are laser etched with the why is this thing talking to me Sorry. Um, they were trying to talk to you. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> my, what I, what we call Dottie around here tried to talk to you guys. I don't know if you heard that. I'm pretty sure you probably did. Anyway, they're all laser etched. So it's never going to rub off. It's never going to peel off anything like that. And here's the really cool part. I'm going to raise this up so you can see it. Do you see how I can lay it flat on any surface and it's not going to fall over. You can measure and leave it sitting just like that. So it's perfectly balanced. So when it's on your cabinet, you can put whatever liquid in there, just like I'm about to do. See if I not spill. So there is my teaspoon and it can sit and not fall over. Isn't that very cool? I absolutely love these things. I can remember my mother having our measuring cups 
I was probably 19 when I moved out, and I think she still had them from the 70s. They were like a yellow. But these are the exact same things. We actually give you two more measurements than the average set does. So we that's why, that's see the one cup. You can actually see the etching on there, which makes it amazing. All right, let's pour this. I'm going to pour this into the butter. And then I'm going to, as you see, all of my biscuits are down in here in my that's a bowl. This is the 32 cup, I believe. I'm going to look at it. I can't see it, though. I think this is the 32 cup. That's a bowls have that thumb hold on the side. And we actually, I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Our that's a bowls are on sale this month. We have a tower of that's a bowls. And I actually, for Tupperware by Tracy clients, I actually have a thing where you can claim a square for five dollars and you can claim however many you want to claim but it gets you into the drawing where you will get a set a full tower of the that's a bowls so i need 15 people to grab all the squares i've only sold so far three so anybody who's interested check out my tupperware by tracy vip and that actually is where you can be a part of that um, where you just grab a square for five bucks. You can grab as many as you want to. And that is how many times you get into the drawing. And I'm going to draw from those people. And one lucky person is going to get that set, that full set of that's balls. And I'll show you the full set and all the sizes that come in that in just a, just a bit. All right. So we're going to pour our, this is our vanilla and our butter all over all over the biscuits and with my handy dandy spatula right wrong color now we're selling them in red this is a purple one i love our spatulas this is our silicone spatula um sells for 19 dollars, i believe um you can check it out on my website and the cool part is it comes apart so you could actually use this as a stir stir stick or even uh spreading on things if you wanted to um, but it does come apart so that you can clean it easily and then just fits right back in. All right, so I'm going to make sure that all of the all of the pieces are, ooh, I'm flinging butter everywhere. Yes, Stella. Does that look yummy? Stella got a bite. Trying to get it. It's They're kind of sticking together. This is the very first time I've made this, so... Hopefully we're going to do well. I've watched people do these before and I've always wanted to try it. And I remembered the biscuits this week. So here we are. And the cool thing is, is it doesn't take long to cook. So we're going to talk long enough so that I can show you the end result, which is very, very cool. Okay. So those are pretty well all mixed up. Now I'm going to probably mix this a little more complicated than you really have to, but I wanted to show you our smooth chopper. Now the smooth chopper is a medium size in our Power Chef line. The Power Chef is the really cool chopper that I use quite a bit. It's the big one, it's the daddy, and it has a blade and it has a paddle and it's much larger. And you can make salsa, you can make guacamole, what I use it a lot for is um, taking my ground beef that I brown in my stack cooker. I stick it in there and I do a couple pulls and then it's ready for taco meat. Uh, you can, with the paddle, you can do cake batters. There's all kinds of things that you can do in the big guy. Then there's the baby, which is called the chop and prep. The chop and prep is a little guy and he's good for like nuts, for herbs for little tiny things little small amounts of things comes with a a three edged a three blade very very sharp uh does not have a paddle to that one because it's really really little so you there's no reason to really have one with the smooth chopper which is the mama what i call the mama the this one comes it's a little taller um the the chop and prep is half this size so this one's a little taller the motor which is this goes to all three of them which is very very cool and with this one this one comes with a blade and a paddle 
And the paddle, that's what I'm going to use tonight. Like I said, this is probably overkill because all I'm doing is going to mix up my sugar and my cinnamon. But I wanted to show you um, because they want you to mix it up. So I wanted to show you what it looks like and kind of what it does. And a lot of people will use these for smoothies. And so you could take... Um, use the blade in here and take frozen berries and stick it in with milk and this and that and chop it all up and there you go you've got a smoothie or you can use the paddle if nothing is frozen and mix it up that way whatever's good okay so we are going to combine our sugar and our cinnamon so let me get the sugar I keep the sugar in my reminder canisters mine are the regular basic ones just the white with the front window. Sometimes we have them in patterns, colors, um, but mine are just the basic white ones that we have in, on sale in the catalog. We are gonna do one cup, and I am gonna use this, one cup of sugar. And I know like my mom is on here, if you want to use like stevia instead, you can use stevia because of course that is a great sugar substitute. And typically it's cup for cup, I believe it is. Mom can change, change me if I'm wrong on that. What I did with that is I stuck my finger over the hole <laughs> because I absolutely Oh, Ginger, this uh, chop and prep would be perfect for smoothies. That's what a lot of folks get it for. Um, I use it for just smaller quantities of stuff but um, because I don't really drink smoothies. But if I ever had, a like if I ever did a meal replacement or anything like that, this would be the exact item I would highly suggest. All right, so that's my sugar. And then we're going to do cinnamon. It calls for two tablespoons. So there's my one tablespoon. And of course I keep my cinnamon in my handy dandy measuring, measuring uh, spice shakers, <laughs> measuring spice shakers, spice shakers. I have the brand new color, which we have um, all of our modular mates in this be beautiful sapphire color. I got a set of these because I wanted to see what the blue looked like. They were so pretty. I've got black ones, I've got red ones, I've got all different color ones. And that's right, this one is a little too big for the tablespoon. Let's not knock that on the floor. Let me get the top off of this and not spill it everywhere. There we go. Typically you could just stick the spoon down in there, but this, uh, this, the opening is not big enough for the tablespoon. And it's asking for two. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is put the top on, if I can get it on. Oh, it doesn't like, there we go. There we go. Now, easy peasy, we're just gonna do a couple pulls to get it to mix up. And you don't have to do really long pulls on this, just really short pulls. You don't have to pull it back all the way like, you know, if you're doing a lawnmower, just a little couple pulls and then it mixes it all up into, you can see that, how it's all nice and mixed up. Hey, Tammy. There we go. Now take the paddle out. All right. Then we're just going to sprinkle it over top a little bit here. Move it all around a little bit so that they all get coated. It says that you can actually put the that's a bowl top on and let's try that. I'm interested to see if that works. It tells you to put the that's a bowl top on. We're all learning together. And that's a bowls are 
of course they're round so everything Tupperware is round is airtight and liquid tight so they tell you to stick it on here and shake it up <laughs> to get it to coat Let's see how well that's doing see if we can break the pieces up just a little bit oh yeah awesome sauce he's an even has oop, I'm throwing them out here awesome all right easy peasy so now they're all coated See that down in there. Oops, get that out of the way. When I put my knives in the sink, I always sheath them. So in case my husband comes in here, he doesn't get cut. I always want to make sure that safety first, right? All right, let's get my stack cooker. Let's talk about the stack cooker real quick. For those of you who know me, know that the stack cooker is my ultimate favorite item ever it is probably the most used item in my kitchen and this is definitely an appliance because it does so many different things so you come with the top which is a three-quarter quart you can actually cook in here and stack cook multiple layers or you can use it as a cover tonight we're going to use it as a cover comes with a cone which we are going to use tonight it comes with a one quart um, colander see it has the holes in it colander we're not going to use tonight but typically I would use the colander when I'm doing my ground beef trying to brown it because you can put your ground beef in here and then put it either in the one quart solid pan or the three quart and it will then drain all of the gunk that normally you would cook your beef in it would drain it down so then it, you're you're cooking much healthier so you're browning your ground beef but it's not cooking in its own stuff and its own grease and its own gunk so to me this is worth the price of admission because I am able to put my beef in here about five minutes per pound stick it in the microwave walk away I don't have to stand over a hot stove trying to get it browned and ready for my taco meat and then when it's finished all I have to do is pull this out stick it into whatever I want to stick it into like into my power chef and cut up the pieces to make it into more taco meat so it's ground up a little better and you're ready to go so super simple now you can also steam in here so if you did vegetables you could put your vegetables in here put a little bit of water in the bottom of one of these other of like of like the one quart here put a little bit of water in the bottom stick this in there you can then steam your vegetables then you can also stack cook so what I've done before is I have put potatoes cut up down here and then in my one quart I've stuck a couple chicken breasts in here stacked it right on top and then in the cover I've done an apple crisp and that goes right on top and so all three layers go into your microwave in under 20 minutes you have a full meal ready to go easy peasy now the really cool thing is that this is on sale again this is the wrong color the stack cooker is coming into this peacock now this is the previous color so um, the color will actually be that peacock color and it's more of a see-through so you can actually see how they're cooking which is amazing I will be getting one of the new ones, I hope, <laughs> um, as soon as I can work that out. But um, this is one of those things that I say must have. You, every kitchen must have one of these because you are you are doing it smarter. You're doing it healthier. There's a lot of a lot of perks when it comes to this item. So tonight, what we're going to do though is I'm not going to use the one boards. So I'm going to put these to the side. We are going to use the three quart. And the cone now on the bottom of the three quart you'll see the little bit of raised right in the bottom and you want to put the cone right there to where it kind of sits and then we're gonna pour this or fit this I don't know how this is this really isn't gonna pour I hope this is gonna work. 
I'm going to do it around the cone. The cone helps to keep um, the pieces to the edge because microwaves do cook from the outside in, as you know, and that is terribly important. So the cone helps us stick my thumb in there so I don't drop it. Let's see if I can make it. You want to kind of do it evenly around the cone. There we go. This smells so good. Sorry, I don't have smell vision. Wouldn't that be awesome if you could actually smell it? Let's see if we can put a little of that cinnamon sugar around there. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, I have it all around the cone. The cone is in the middle. And so then that helps to keep all of the food out to the outer edges so that it will cook evenly. All I'm going to do is take the cover, put it right on top. Easy peasy. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to start. It says for six minutes, but I'm going to start it at five because I don't know how this is going to do in my microwave and I don't want to overcook it because you could very easily overcook. So I'm going to start at five minutes and then if we need to add a minute or two on, we can. Okay. Awesome. Now, while that is cooking, I want to talk to you about the future of what I'm fixing to start doing. Starting next week, next Sunday, I am going to start doing this broadcast, but I'm going to do it as a multi-host, uh, also allowing multi-party uh, multi hosts to be a part of this to where I'm doing almost like a virtual home party. Um, so if I have anybody on here with me that is actually a representative that does home parties, what I'm going to start doing, you'll be very familiar with. But for those of you who are not as familiar, I want to kind of explain what I want to start. I'm going to try to start doing every one of my tougher time with Tracy's. I'm going to also be able to bring in a couple hostesses that are doing parties with me. And what that is going to allow me to do is actually show exactly what you're seeing but then i'm also while whatever i'm making is cooking i'm going to also show product and be able to kind of do a home demo but virtually and then those hostesses will have invited all their guests to come be a part of our broadcast and they will be able to see the pro the all the product watch me demo and then they'll be able to then go back to every hostess will have their own personal private event with their own purchasing link. And they will be able to then gather all the good stuff that every hostess gets with me. So I really want to, I want to be able to get that word out because I really want to, I want to load up our, our tougher time with Tracy's. I want to have as many hostesses as I possibly can every week to join me. I already have, I already have three hostesses for next week. So I'm very excited. Um, they have a couple days of pre-party where we talk a little bit here and there in the event. They invite all their people to the event page and then they will have their own purchasing link. So every hostess will get all their own prizes, all their own loot. Um, nobody's getting shorted, but I'm just having one big party where I can then show off my product and be able to do a home demo all at the same time and be able to um, have my Tupperware with Tracy folks also be a part of that. So please, if you have a desire to have a party with me, please send me a message. I really would love to party with you, help you earn some free and half price stuff. Um, it's really simple. I make it really, really easy. And I'm hoping by adding the hostesses into this part that they are getting a better Tupperware experience because they're able to see the product because my current parties don't have demos of any sort done by me. 
I use videos of other people and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to use myself. I want to be real to my customers and I want them to be able to see me as their representative. So that's why I kind of came up with this idea and actually uh, it's not totally mine. I won't take credit for all of it. Um, I'm kind of patterning after some other folks that are doing this exact idea. And I really hope that you guys will embrace that and will get excited about it. If you don't want to have a party, then I ask, hey, if you don't want to have one, then tell me, do you know anybody that would? Because it's okay. I love that you're here. I love that you're being a part of things with me. And if you don't want to have one right now, absolutely no problem. But I bet you know somebody that might want to. And you could then come to their party and support their party. So... Let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas, any, you know, hey, that's a great idea. Hey, what about this? Um, if you have anybody that you think would be interested, put it down in those comments and I'm more than happy to hear what you have because I love to hear from you guys and see, you know, kind of your ideas as well. So that is starting next week. Um, it also, the time will change. I'm also going to start doing it at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So it's going to be a little later which hopefully maybe will will be a little better for certain people's schedules. I think five o'clock was maybe a little early for some folks. It just happens to be when my husband and I eat dinner. So I typically make things that we're gonna have for dinner. And that's why we've kind of stayed with the, four, with the five o'clock. But I'm gonna move it to eight o'clock because that's typically when I do my parties anyway. That's when my live party has always been. And so we're gonna continue to do that. Oh. We're going to let that sit for just a minute because, you know, with a microwave, when it dings, it doesn't mean that it's automatically done. Let me check and see if it needs a little extra time. I'm going to give it one extra minute. Okay, so that being said, I want to talk about real quick what is on sale. Our brochure just came out and I don't have these I don't have these Vatsas but this is the Vatsa set that I was telling you about the full set is $59 you heard me correctly $59 that is awesome the full set comes with a 6 cup a 12 cup a 19 cup a 32 cup and a 42 cup that's what you can actually uh, buy a square and try to be one of the folks that will actually earn um, through a drawing in my VIP group. So check out my VIP group. And they come in these beautiful colors. New colors that have just come out. Aren't those great? And then, as I said, our stack cooker is on sale. Right here. Stack cooker is currently on sale for $99. Um, I know that's a little expensive. A lot of folks say that's a little expensive. That is an investment. Again, lifetime warranty. So if anything ever goes wrong, it cracks, chips, anything like that, it's covered by Tupperware. And it's coming in this beautiful new peacock color. As you can see, that beautiful color. I have the, the previous color, but that is the peacock color. All right, let me check on this and see how we're doing. All right, so um, as you open, always open away from you or you're going to get a really bad facial. There we go. And there we go. Look how beautiful that is. Now, as simple as it is, all you have to do is just turn it right out onto the plate. We're going to flip it right over. Oops. I have a couple pieces that stayed. <laughs> Didn't want to come out. That's okay. All right. I'm going to leave that there. And take the cone right out. And there we go. That is the pull apart monkey bread. Isn't that beautiful? 
All right. Well, that is all I have for you tonight, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I am excited about the new format that's coming. So let me know if you're interested or if you know anybody else that may be interested. I am uh, super excited to be able to do this with y'all and um, get to know each and every one of you. Hopefully we'll even pull in some more just regular general folks since it's a little bit later at night. And thanks so much for those guys that shared out the video. I do appreciate that. I'll be getting you some, what did we call that? <laughs> some happy mail or whatever we're going to call it. I'll be getting you something in the mail too uh, since you did that for me. Thanks so much guys. You guys have a great night and I will see you next week. Bye.